cannot say enough good things about the trains in Japan. So smooth, efficient with heating. Anyway, I ate the spicy quadrate onigiri with the bear cake. Don't know the cuteness for you. This was so dry. <laughs> the hot tea made up for it though, and it went together well after that. Right, we're back in Tokyo now. I got an eki ben, which was a bento box with a train from a shop at the station. Oh, there was a heap of eki ben options once you're on the platform and around Tokyo Station, so arrive a touch earlier to get your lunch ready. I'm on a Shinkansen to Hokodate and I'm about to eat my ekiben which is my little lunchbox on the train. I picked one with 20 different compartments of a little bit of everything. We've got some katsu, we've got some akira, we've got egg, veggies, little sushi rolls. Look how pretty everything is! Please offer the priority seats to persons in need. Please set your mobile phone to silent mode and refrain from talking on the phone. Four hours and four minutes later, hello, Hakodate! I've never seen that before. Cool. <laughs> Look at the snow! My first time experiencing this in Japan and I felt like an excited kid. I got a taxi to the guest house I booked, which was a 15 minute journey for six pounds. Hello my love and welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Hakodate. I left Hakone this morning and got on the Shinkansen back to Tokyo and then another Shinkansen over to Hakodate terminal. I've just checked into a guest house called Pension Jokura and it's run by the sweetest sweetest lady and you immediately feel so warm and welcome as soon as you step in. It feels like you're stepping into a family home and it's full of trinkets from all around the world. There's ABBA playing, SOS. Slippers off as soon as you walk in this is what it looks like and the bedding is all set and ready and then over here was a little nook and a tv got a little painting oh i love it so much it's so peaceful here as well i feel like i should be whispering and then let me show you the bathroom there is a ladies bathroom and a male bathroom and everything's all automatic look it's like a smart home we've got the washer and dryer here this is the shower I think this is like one of those baths that keeps your water warm. I haven't seen that before. Oh my gosh, yeah! A little shower cubicle, little stool. You've got your shampoo, conditioner and body wash. The little bath mat. The coin laundry, 100 yen for 60 minutes. This is the shower room. Oh! There's a mirror in the shower. <laughs> not sure I want to see that of myself, but you never know. Why not? Check yourself out. You deserve it. This is the little sink area and there's four sinks. Oh my gosh, everything is automatic. I love it. Let me show the toilet. This is the corridor, so if you go here, you come up these steps and there's a collection of lots of Totoro. Look! <laughs> I love my neighbor Totoro, so this makes me very, very happy. And then if you carry on down here, right at the very end, we've got some hot water. And this little thing here, got a little book corner, got a communal TV, a place to make some teas, little cups, microwave, communal fridge and freezer, and then this little lounge area. And there's also like lots of little sweets and mints in this a uh, little tr dish as well which is so adorable it's time for a little evening wonder everywhere is thick with snow but still so efficient unlike london in the snow lol hakodata is hokkaido's third largest city and had one of the first ports open for international trade after japan's isolation era i think it lasted around 200 years now it's known for delicious seafood incredible landscapes and views of mount hakodata looking over the city i'm going on a snowy walk it takes 60 minutes from the guest house over to the observatory to go up to the mountain via cable car or a five minute taxi and it seems too good of opportunity to not walk and i'm just imagining the daily snowfall this is a small mound the build-up of snow is almost as tall as me and i'm 161 centimeters so which is five foot three and i'm just trying to imagine like how much snow there must be to accumulate to such heights wait look look at how tall that is this is like a, a short one actually some of them come up to here like this oh the architecture is so beautiful everywhere as well 
and it's very very quiet so yeah it's nice so and I love hearing like the snow crunching under my feet and I don't want to ruin the peace by me talking so let me continue to show you some snow footage and the ASMR and then we'll go up to the observatory it's so beautiful I'm about to go on the Hakodate Ropeway. It's over 60 years old and a round trip is 1,500 for an adult. You get a little ticket, you scan the QR code and then I'm just queuing up but there's quite a few tours here so there's a lot of people. I arrived late so I came here for the night views but if you're able to catch this on a clear day all year round the views are meant to be incredible. It takes around three minutes to the viewpoint and then there's two sets of stairs but there are also lifts on the first floor and a little set of steps after. Yeah. That viewpoint was very, very pretty, although there was a lot of people there as well, and you kind of like all crammed in to the cable car, and you go up, do a little round, and then come back down. But it is now dinner time, and I'm at Kuraya, which is a cozy tavern that specializes in table side grills. So you get your own little private booth, and you sit down, shoes off, have little slippers on, they give you a basket uh, full of little uh, blankets, and they specialize in seafood and meat and grills. So just having a little cozy evening, they've got jazz playing in the background, and also an English menu if you ask for it as well. The presentation of the food is so pretty and it's all very very small sharing plates so yeah much needed i've also just ordered a hot sake because it is snowing and it is in japan and i love sake <laughs> This was one of my favourite food spots of the entire trip. The staff were really friendly, the food was affordable and delicious. I would say that the portions are on the smaller side though if you're sharing in a group, but it's perfect for one to two people. It was a very cold evening, so having Japanese barbecue and blankets over was the perfect way to enjoy the first night in Hakodate. That wagyu was so good, fatty, flavorful, and it melted in your mouth. It was like £6 for the steak as opposed to the prices in London for it. I couldn't come to Hakodate and not try the crab, so I had it with some steamed tofu and then ordered it with some steamed rice. It came with little fire burners and a note. The rice was very tasty, light fresh, and had the sweetness of the crab, and you also had light soy sauce to drizzle over the top too. Right, time for a good night's sleep, then a day of sleep before going to Sapporo tomorrow night. Good night, I'll see you tomorrow.